Hi everyone. Previous video I explained how you can create automation DAG by using Python operator. So in this video I will explain you how you can create a DAG by using Bash operator. So let's start. So uh, however we are creating that Python operator file right. The same way we will create one Bash operator file. Those who are directly watching this video please complete that previous series then you can get some more idea about Apache Airflow. So the, I created already that file name. So here we will add that Airflow modules. So it's a dependency module. I will explain you. And also previous video I already completed this module. This is a basic module which is required for uh, creating the DAG. So this one I am creating for date time module. So this date time we will add in that start time. And here I am adding the Airflow modules. So from Airflow models, we will import the major part of this Apache Airflow which is DAG and variable. So upcoming videos, I will explain about variables, how you can call and how you can execute in your program. And third module I am using for uh, bus operator. So there is a import file is here, you can see Airflow.operators. From here we need to add bus underscore operator. This is some default uh, modules are there no need to uh, scripting this one and from here we need to import bus operator so this is some uh, basic instruction of apache airflow and we are also using that one you can see you can use the same way so this is the airflow modules so now next step we will default arguments we need to initialize so how you can do you can see here uh, here you can add default underscore arguments equal to you have to do you have to add some default arguments of apache airflow currently i am using uh, two argument previous video also i use the same you can do the same way it's a starting of this uh, series right so that's why i am explaining we two are two arguments so upcoming videos i will explain more so here you can give any uh, owner name so i'm currently giving the youtube channel name you can give any owner name as you want now we will call the start date and the start date uh, whatever modules we are assigning above right that date time so that one we will call here here you can see the in python there is a default module is there date time so from date time we can give any date time in here so upcoming videos also i will explain you some more flexibility and more complex program so you can get more idea so this is the default argument of Apache Airflow. So you can give more in that uh, documents and I will provide in the description box. You can get more ideas. Now we will assign DAG. So you can see how you can do that one. You can give with and then you can give that uh, DAG, DAG which is imported from models for models file. And here we can give that DAG ID, whatever DAG ID you want to give. So here I am giving one DAG ID. So whatever DAG ID you will give here, that one will reflected in Apache Airflow UI. So currently I am starting a uh, convenient name series. So that's why I am giving bus operator demo one. So upcoming videos I will put more videos so you can some get some more ideas. This is the DAG ID. Now we are doing what? We are assigning the default arguments. So this default arguments is doing what after uh, assigning that one it will call that uh, owner and uh, start date whatever available under the default arguments. Now you can see schedule I added none because currently I am not uh, automatically uh, by default it will executing any date and time. So currently it is not uh, taking any specific date and time. I am adding none here. So within specific uh, trigger time only it will it will happen a specific task interval but here I am adding none so uh, depend upon user input it will user hit it will execute the DAG so this is the uh, DAG initialization I am storing in a DAG then we will call all the things and create one task ok so this is the thing so task what we are doing what command or what uh, file if you want to execute so here I am giving one uh, not double code I think I need to give bus operator 
सो हियर वी नीड टू कॉल दैट बस ऑपरेटर हियर सो विद इन बस ऑपरेटर वी हैव टू कॉल द टास्क आई डी एंड वट एवर कमांड्स वी हैव टू गिव और वट एवर एग्जीक्यूशन फाइल वी हैव टू गिव सो हियर आई एम गिविंग टास्क आई डी यू कैन गिव एनी थिंग टास्क आई डी एज यू वॉन्ट सो करेंटली आई एम गिविंग द सेम नेम एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू कॉल दैट बस ऑपरेटर कमांड सो दैर इज अ डिफॉल्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट इज देयर दैट इज बस अंडर स्कोर कमांड सो बाय यूजिंग दैट वन वी विल एक्सिक्यूट एनी बस कमांड करेंटली एम टेकिंग एज ए सैम्पल कमांड लाइक डेट सो अपकम वीडियोज आई विल आर्ड मोर कमांड सम कॉम्प्लेक्स कमांड सो यू कैन गेट मोर आइडियाज सो करेंटली एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी बॉड्स फॉर क्रिएटिंग दिस बस ऑपरेटर I am just using one initialize and some basic command like date. Now we need to add dependency. So by adding dependency only Airflow will execute that task. You can give the same task ID, so it is better. Let it uh, uh, explain again. You can give variable and for bus operator you you need to import bus operator. Then you have to add default arguments. these two argument and uh, any other argument also you can add but it must be available in apache airflow this is some basic step and uh, task id you can see uh, you have to give the task id like this way and bus command you can give any bus command then initialize the tag and then by refreshing this airflow ui you could see here uh, one automation tag has been added here that means bus operator demo which we created recently so we need to click this uh, grab view so actually all the options this all the option already covered previous videos let me show you again you can search in youtube so be in doubt like this way and here you can see at the top you can click this one click videos then playlist so in playlist you can see here uh, there is a python automation using apache airflow docker mongodb series that one you can complete so you can get more ideas so these are all the videos also okay let's complete this uh, dag first let me maximize through mouse you can also maximize this one let trigger this one and okay by doing this one you can see initial step it is coming as a tree view and running state so let me maximize this one also that right side corner there is a refresh icon is there by clicking this one you can see it's completed by default it is taking very less time by clicking log you can see the log you could see here uh, when i when i created this video right it is the same timing of that video okay so now let me search current utc time here you could see 88 am let it match this one so here you can see 88 11 am okay so this is the same timing 